the weekend started his rollout a while ago uh, he dropped some pictures a couple months ago and then recently he dropped the title of the album hurry up tomorrow and the cover with him looking like ty dolla sign uh and i thought that was very funny but either way we got a new song we got the first single for the album dancing in the flames we're very excited this is a trilogy uh, he did it again he did it again uh we have the the third and final album in the new trilogy which I don't know what we're gonna call the trilogy though. He can't call it trilogy too. You know what? Never mind, bro. Anyways, let's see what the song is talking about. Ooh. So we're kind of continuing the story from After Hours and Dawn FM to now Hurry Up Tomorrow. Okay, the classic shot of him looking up. Traffic dies while we are racing home. We're so back. Melted lights cover the open road. I have been the trilogy too. Because <laughs> I've been chasing another Odyssey. Oh, I can't wait to. I wonder if it's Metro again on the beat. Probably not. Maybe though. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, no producer credits in the description. Which is unfortunate, but I mean, you know. Production wise, it sounds kind of hopeful, you know? I feel like After Hours was like dark, like we're kind of, we're going through it and we know we're going through it, but we're just going through it. And then Dawn FM was like the aftermath of that. And now I feel like this is kind of the hopeful, happy ending, which I didn't see coming. And then again, though, this is just one song. And see, look, he already just crashed into a truck. Never mind. I, I take it back. Wow. There's something off about this video that I don't like. It, it looks like a short, like a low budget short film. Kind of. It might be lighting. There's something about this though that doesn't feel like a, like a weekend video. At least in 2024, you know? It's great videos and this isn't a bad video, it just looks off. Not even. I think it's just the lighting. Bro, put the top up, bro. Okay, hold on, bro. Because there's like no background? Maybe. Could be it. And I think that's the thing too, like it's, it, it looks like it's shot on a set, like in like an older movie, rather than like on location somewhere, which is fair. But even still though, he has videos like that, you know, where it's like clearly shot on a set and all that. But I guess, I, I, like it. I think it's the lighting. I think it's the lighting. Cause I can taste it, final Maybe I'm not watching it in high enough quality. I mean, it's in 1080. I am feeling this on though. Nah, you know what it is, chat? It feels like a YSL commercial. This feels like a YSL fragrance commercial, bro. That's what it is. I figured it out. 
That's what it is, bro. It's weird. Free wide sell, by the way. Okay. Shot on iPhone 16 Pro. That's why it looks weird. <laughs> That's why it looks weird. It was shot on an iPhone. I knew there was something off, bro. I knew it. Hey, but look at... Yo, look at the evolution of Cole Bennett's influence on the music video industry, though. I just was just doing iPhone videos with Yachty, and now we got The weekend starting the rollout for his album. I actually, no, O-Rod did it. She shot a video off of her album last year with the iPhone 15. But still, you get what I mean, bro. You get what I mean. And it's going to be Apple commercials, though. Just like the O-Rod video was. We already know that. Um, but yeah, I look, man. It was cool when Cole did it, and I think I like Old Rod's video because they tried to make an intentionally weird video with an iPhone. This is a good setup for the next. Oh, he's dropping the acoustic version too. I kind of want to check it out right now, but, uh, but yeah, they tried to make an intentionally weird video and like do crazy shots and stuff on purpose with the iPhone. Whereas this feels like they're just kind of showcasing what the iPhone can do. And honestly, I'm not impressed. I'm not. But with the song, however. I'm feeling it. It's cool. I don't know if I love it as the first single for that album, uh, but it's cool. I'm just excited for the song with Cardi. I haven't heard it yet. I haven't heard the snippet. I didn't watch the Sao Paulo stream, uh, but you know, I'm just excited for the album. And hopefully Cardi clears his verse too, because he's known for giving people features for their albums and they'll play a snippet that will know about it. It'll be confirmed for the album and the album will come out and he won't clear the verse. So hopefully he clears it, but he cool with the weekend. So he should go back. He was cool with Offset too, though. And he ain't cleared the verse for him. So I don't know. 